Hello, I'm Dr. Tom Martin from the University of California, uh, San Francisco. And on behalf of my co-authors, it's my pleasure to uh, present the two-year update from the CARTITUDE-1 trial of siltacaptogene autolucil or siltacel in patients with relapse and refractory multiple myeloma. Now, siltacel is a novel BCMA-targeted CAR T-cell therapeutic. It contains two BCMA-targeting single-domain antibodies and the intracellular domain has a co-stimulatory domain of 41BB and CD3 Zeta. Um, this study has previously been presented at, with one-year follow-up, and again, I'm going to present the two-year follow-up. This was a standard CAR T-cell um, trial. Patients underwent screening, then apheresis. They received bridging therapy as needed, then received lymphodepleting chemotherapy with cyclophosphamide and fludarabine and then received a single infusion of siltacel, uh, which, which amounted to about 50 million total cells. And then post-infusion, they were assessed for safety as well as uh, efficacy. Now, um, I'll show you um, some of the interesting uh, components of the patient demographics. Um, about 60% were male, 17.5% were um, a Black or African-American, um, about 13.4% had extramedullary plasma cytomas. Um, high risk cytogenetic profile was seen in 24% of patients. Uh, they had six prior lines of therapy. 100% um, were triple class uh, exposed, 83% pentadrug expo exposed, and 99% were refractory to their last line of therapy. So, a very heavily pre treated population. Here's the efficacy data now at, again, two years of follow-up. Overall response rate is 97.9% with 95% of patients achieving a VGPR or better and um, close to 83% of patients achieving a stringent complete remission. Pretty um, amazing results. Um, here is progression-free survival. The total population in the blue curve and the... Um, patients who are achieved a stringent complete response in the green curve. And you can see the median after 24 months of follow-up has not been reached in either group. Here's the overall survival um, with again, median follow-up of two years, overall survival is 74%. If we look at um, the median PFS and we break it down into those patients that had MRD negativity, 61% um, of patients were valuable for MRD, 92% were MRD negative. And if we look at specifically um, in the blue curve, those that uh, were MRD negative sustained for more than six months, or in the orange curve, more than 12 months, you can see a pretty impressive two-year progression-free survival. 100% of 12 months or more, 91% if the sustained MRD of six months or more, and again, the two-year PFS of the entire population, 60.5%. Uh, and here's the overall survival. Again, uh, those groups that were able to achieve MRD negativity, whether sustained six months or 12 months, overall survival is 100%, and two-year overall survival in the entire population of 74%. So with that, I'll, I'll conclude uh, showing that at two years, overall response rate was um, quite high at 98%. Stringent CR was um, improved from one year to two year from 67% to 83%. And the two-year PFS and OS, uh, OS rates were 60.5% and 74% uh, respectively. I'll just say that Siltacel um, had a very manageable safety profile and there was no additional safety signal seen between year one and year two. I thank you for your attention.